Hello dearest one, you are welcome to the Love Angel Speaks YouTube channel. This is one YouTube channel that offers you seven different topics all the weeks of the month. We have born again identity, deliverance ministry, love and romance, matrimonial admonition, the human heart cast, ministerial admonition, and the health factors. Once again, you are welcome. We are here to give you the best because we are the best. We love you. We are here again today on Health Factors Season 9. Let us pray. We give you all the glory, Heavenly Father. We thank you for everything. Thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for the YouTube community. Thank you for our audience. Thank you for everything. Spirit of the Most High God, come and have your way. We cannot do anything, we cannot talk, we cannot learn, we cannot comprehend, we cannot reason without you. We depend on you for everything. We pray for understanding, insight. Oh Lord God Almighty, come and have your way. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hello, beloved friends. The Love Angel Speaks welcomes you in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. We thank God for this wonderful moment who has given us another chance as we continue on this journey. Health Factors Season 9. Alright? Uh, if you could recall, last time we talked about wholesomeness of our meal, that our meal should be wholesomely. We should consume the whole the whole food strap okay so it is not all about uh, um, industrialized meal you take some part you incorporate a foreign uh, nutrient into a, a, a given sample of food uh, like when somebody wants to combine um, carbohydrates and protein somebody wants to combine mm, Carbohydrates and uh, even plant carbohydrates and animal protein. You cannot get something like that in nature. Okay? I know that um, you may not all that depend entirely on natural food. Okay? Like when I say natural food, I mean fruits and vegetables. Okay? Sometimes you, you do take your... Uh, other things that are made by our fellow human being okay but at the minimum uh, quantity that's what i advise all right that was that anyway if you still want to look it off with such our health factors you get all this thing all right today we will take another part of this uh, health factors when we remember we are talking about the things that we're supposed to eat okay Last time I told you things you shouldn't eat, like alcohol, okay? But well, today I'm telling you what you should eat, all right? Today, we are talking about another thing that our food should be rich in water. Water, hydrogen, oxygen, okay? That's what we are saying. Now, I don't know whom you are, whether you are a dietitian, you are a medical doctor, you are a nutritionist. Yeah, if we go into details, if we, if we go into experiment, other things may begin to come up, okay? But here, we are making everything simple. We are using our common sense, okay? The Spirit of the Most High God in our life will guide us and direct us our right we are making use of our common sense because if we should go into details you will see a whole lot of things how to calculate the water body the, uh, how to calculate the quantity how to decide the the right the best quantity according to your gender according to your age all this thing this is not where, what we are talking about we may not have time for that okay we are going to talk about the basics all right your food now should be water rich now i want you to look at the nature i want you to compare this thing briefly as we go on before we read from the holy scriptures the holy bible okay your food should be water rich basically we know that uh, our more than 70 percent of the physical world is water okay you can talk about the ocean body and even when you go to the bible 
Okay? Bible book of Genesis chapter 1, we can see that prior to the renovation of the planet Earth, remember when we read from verse 2, Genesis chapter 1, verse 2, verse 1 is when God created the whole world, the heavens and the earth. Remember, heavens, plural form, and earth, singular form. But after the fall of the that um, uh, Kerub, that um, archangel, who was commonly known as Lucifer, the Lord God Almighty shut up the planet Earth with water and darkness. That is what you read in verse 2 of Genesis chapter 1. Alright? In verse 3, God said, Let there be light and there was light. Then from verse 4, God started to renovate the planet Earth. Okay? So God actually said, Let dry land appear. So some portion of the planet Earth became dry land. But there are more water, more water on the planet Earth than the solid um, um, solid element of the planet Earth, okay? Hydrosphere is greater than the, the lithosphere, all right? That's what I'm saying. Now, remember, uh, we are making use of our common sense. Now, come also to our physical body. We have known that um, up to about roughly, on the average now, 60% of, of our body mm -hmm, is just hydrogen and oxygen. Just water molecule hydrogen happens to be the most abundant element in the universe now i want you to think about that okay hydrogen uh, as an element a singular element a singular and um, uh, element okay happens to be like when i say or um, when i i mean yet now uncombined with other elements happen to be the most abundant the most abundant element in the universe not only on the planet earth in the sun in the jupiter in the neptune in the pluto in the in the mass okay in the universe beyond our imagination what does that tell you it is telling you how important now when this hydrogen will come and combine with them oxygen molecule or oxygen element hydrogen molecule and then oxygen and uh, element will give you what we know as water whether the water is in in, in plasma plasmic form in gaseous form and the liquid form aqueous form or in a solid form as an ice okay they are chemically the same this should tell you how important water is and today i stand here to encourage you to choose your food all right eat those food that has water naturally within them so make this comparison i want you to compare popo pakaya okay pakaya or just um a ball of orange and uh, a piece of bread or a piece of cake a wedge of cake okay i want you to use your common sense and compare which one do you think that your body actually needs in order to maintain the the, the level of liquid in your body in order to maintain that um, need for water in your body which one do you think using your common sense now <laughs> even a stack illiterate should know <laughs> that uh, your body is actually craving for that pakaya or that uh, orange or lemon and not the bread or the wedge of cake and not the meat okay all right you see everything is simple here okay let's take our reading from the bible book of um bible book of joshua for the holy scriptures remember in genesis chapter 129 god said to the man eat this fruit and vegetable what i mean fruit and vegetable according to the translation that you are reading basically it has plants that have their seed inside not actually the seed because the seed is a kind of solid but when you talk about the fruit you eat the fleshy part okay the fleshy part certainly is succulent when we, when we talk about succulent we mean something that has um, enough water are uh, made and or, or, or uh, made of an uh, adequate amount of water like i have given you example you talk about your pakaya you talk about watermelon you talk about your oranges Okay, all those things. Even when we talk about leafy vegetable, okay, they have water. Okay, so and also in the same Genesis chapter two verse nine, 
the Lord God Almighty planted the garden specifically for Adam, the man. Okay, so he made to grow out of the ground what plants. I want you to observe the nature, observe the vegetation, observe the fruits and vegetables. These are the things that our body needs. The more succulent, the better. The more water content, the better for your body. Even when you are choosing or when you want to choose um, among natural fruits and vegetables, when I say natural fruits and vegetables, uh, from, the, from the modern nature, not the one that have been harvested and kept on the shelf in the, in the grocery, a lot of things has happened to it. They are, maybe they have been, inj been injected with pesticide and the preservative, like the apple that people eat here in Nigeria, West Africa, because our our um, our, um, our 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 soil, our weather condition cannot support uh, the life of an uh, apple. All right, green apple and all those. There's a kind of apple that grow here. All right, but the one that the green apple and the red apple, the big one, the roundish one, round uh, the, the the reddish ones, they can't grow in Nigeria. So we have to import them, and then they are quite expensive. We are talking about how to eat your food according to the season, how to choose your food according to the season, because in their season they are cheaper, they are fresh, they are in abundance. Okay, so this particular fruit i'm talking about they are expensive okay they are no longer natural that's what i want to bring up because man has harvested them has kept them i don't know how many months they have to stay on the in the ship before they can get there and i don't still don't know how many months they are still going to stay until you go to the market and buy them oh my god okay so so many things that are involved in this case but uh, the very best is uh, the one you just harvest the one that is grown in your own particular region no addition of uh, uh, a preservative and pesticide like all those things to preserve them okay all right generally this is what i am talking about okay so common sense can tell you that your body need those natural things and not those things that are solid. Remember, we're talking about water-rich fruits and then vegetable. As you make your choice, go to the nature. The more the water content, the better for your physical body. In order to maintain that normal level of water in your body. All right. Let's take a reading, like I've told you, Joshua chapter 5. Okay, Joshua chapter 5. Uh, let us read it from um, from 10, 11, and 12. Look at from verse 10. It says, Why the Israelites were camped at Gilgal on the plains of Jericho? They celebrated Passover on the evening of the 14th day of the first month. 11. The very next day, they began to eat unleavened bread and roasted grain harvested from the ground. Verse 12 No manna appeared on the day they first ate from the crops of the land, and it was never seen again. So from that time on, the Israelites ate from the crops of the Canaan. What does that mean? Remember, we have taken a lot of examples from the journey of the people of Israel as we analyze the kind of food that we ought to eat. There was a time when we were talking about them uh, that your food should be fresh. We chose manna as the best food, okay, because you should prepare your food every day. And like I remember, or should I still go back? You should eat your food after being cooked, okay. Cooked food should be served in the within the next three hours or the next six hours. Okay. highest in the, within the next 12 hours your food should not cross the whole the next day because after three hours after six hours and after 12 hours it will begin to ferment it will begin to not necessarily physical you cannot detect the fermentation and that's the reason why people they keep warming their food all right we have talked about all this and so what am i trying to say i am trying to tell you that uh, there was a time when we described the manner as the best uh, kind of meal but now no longer the same because we are talking about a different thing entirely. 
It does not contradict what I mean. When you harvest your fruit and vegetable from your garden or you buy them from the market from your own region, it is still fresh because it is not fired, okay? It is still alive. Fruit and vegetable, they are alive. Why? God is saying the, 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 the seed, the seed should be inside, inside the fruit. What does that mean? There was also a time we talked about living and dead fruit. After eating your mango, your orange, your, your apricot, your papaya, uh, uh, you will plant, just throw away the seed. You see they will germinate. But I want you to eat your bread and just kill some portion of the bread, throw them away, will they germinate? No. So there is no contradiction in this place, okay? But what I'm saying is that eh, according to the Bible, they no longer have to depend on the manna because the manna was just eh, conducive for them as long as they are in the wilderness, okay? Because they have no place to plant their food, their fruits, and their vegetable. But now they have entered into the promised land. God is now giving them the best. No longer that dry manna, okay, that they have to come from a, a different region entirely. When you are traveling, maybe you are on an aircraft or on a ship, you can make do with whatever is available, whatever you are served. You can eat them because you cannot possibly carry food from your house that will keep you for a whole month. So you eat whatever that is being served that on that aircraft or in that ship, on that ship, okay? Now, that was the journey of the people of Israelites in the wilderness. They are just receiving what is being served in the wilderness. But now they have entered into a land of agriculture, a fertile ground that has fruit and vegetable. So when they started to eat from the crop of the soil, the Bible said that the manna stopped. And this is what I advise you to do today. When you come back home, when you are in your country or in any country, eat from the soil, eat from the ground. The people of Israel, they started to eat from the ground. They no longer have to depend on the sky to give them mother from heaven, from another country, from a different region. No, 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 no. They started to eat from the soil. So what am I trying to say? Your food now should be water rich. Should we give an example? I have given you an example. You can go ahead and make a whole lot of things there with the basic analogy, okay? I want you to compare the bread, the cake, the hot dog, all those things that are, uh, that are prepared in the industry that are man-made. Many of them are dry. Potato chips, plantain chips, okay? They are dry. They are not the best for our physical body. <laughs> because our body roughly is made of uh, 60% to 75% uh, water. How do you replenish? Water is very important. This is not what we are talking about. We are not talking about the importance of water. But basically, they are needed in the body for temperature regulation. That is uh, osmosis. Okay, Osmo regulatory uh, principles, okay? Regulation of an internal environment, whether you want to uh, regulate the body pH, the osmotic pressure, the body temperature, all those things they are there. Water is also important for cellular functions, for waste removal, okay? For the normal circulation of the body. Every system in the body depends on water. Water, the food we eat is digested in aqueous medium, all right? So, water is very important. Alright? So, in order to maintain a, hell, a, healthy, a healthy internal environment, that's right. When you choose your food, your food should be water rich. Go into the nature, go into your vineyard, eat more of fruits and vegetables, the natural one. The more succulent, the better. All right. Again, we cannot entirely do entirely do without um, all that solid food like our bread, our cake. Now, this is where you need to balance the water content of your body. All right. You can hardly get somebody who is sick because of him. <laughs> 
water toxicity there is something that is called water toxicity what does that mean when somebody has taken more than enough water you can hardly <laughs> you can hardly get a patient in the hospital that is sick because um, the person drinks too much water all right no 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 you can hardly get something like that okay but the word is there all right what well, there are many sicknesses and diseases that are linked to in, uh, insufficiency of water in the human body all right so if you can just go and make research make research about make research about the importance of water in the human body that's what i am saying importance of water in the human body we talk about our brain our kidney our heart our lungs and the, uh, our muscle our liver our skin our blood our bones even our teeth okay there is no part of our no no let's begin at the cellular level okay even a, a singular cell of the body is made of high quantity of water all right so water is very important how do you maintain the normal level of water in your body remember that i told you earlier on that um, the percentage of water in our body may differ slightly just slightly okay the difference is not even uh, all that uh, much uh, according to our age and uh, our gender all right because generally speaking because women have more fatty acid like or uh, no fatty tissue in their body they have a uh, a slightly lower quantity percentage of water in their body all right and also it has been observed that um, they are the, the more our our years goes up go up okay the older we becomes the older we becomes the lower the percentage of water in our body but all these things i, I would say they are not that um, uh, important you just have to be to maintain the normal level of water in your body you just have to be sensitive you just have to be to be attentive to your body be sensitive to your body listen to your body our human body uh, uh, is alive our body can talk your body your body can communicate to you who are you that is your mind your soul your body can communicate to you okay you can say, uh, for an example now when you feel tense that is when you are thirsty your body is telling you that the water yes it has been observed that eh, we begin to feel thirsty only when there is a, a reduction of water in our body by just one percent just one percent i want you to imagine that eh, normally you have 60 percent water in your body okay you will begin to feel thirsty no matter what is bringing that test whether you have taken spicy food whether the temperature is hot on a very sunny day okay or whether you are you are on an exercise just by a reduction of the water content of your body by one percent your body will begin to tell you that you should do what drink water you should supplement you should top up can you understand this is what i mean by being sensitive to your body now when we talk about food combination i will also advise you not to take water immediately after taking a meal or you should take a meal immediately after taking water or you should take liquid liquid meal what do i mean by liquid meal any beverage beverage apart from what i know when we talk about beverage anything that is drinkable that is not uh, uh water okay hydrogen oxygen okay so you should not take uh, you know you, you, can you see civilization can you see our culture generally everywhere even in the movie you see people <laughs> on their dining table they are eating and they are taking wine at the same time they are sipping water at the same time oh no this is not supposed to be no 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 this is wrong this is wrong for the fact that it is done everywhere doesn't mean it is right you are just punishing your body let me tell you you should uh, cultivate the habit of going along with a water bottle okay you can take water anytime but not immediately after meal not during a meal or you should not take your 
your, your, your meal immediately after taking water because when we talk about uh, digestion a whole lot of things come into play when we talk about the activities of the enzyme enzyme they are sensitive to temperature do not worry yourself okay on today we'll talk about uh, um, food combination we'll talk about when is the best time to take beverages or water okay but uh, i am just telling you this so you should carry water bottle carry water bottle when you are taking a walk when you are exercising okay make sure you take water first thing in the morning even before you brush your teeth okay take water this is there's this thing that is called uh, self uh, immunity okay you want to activate them um, uh, natural immunity in your body uh, should we go into this okay this is it when you take first stone in the morning water not any other beverage but if you can if you have your tea your green tea that's okay but water is enough okay and if it is warm better uh, yes yes better keep it warm warm water in the morning first thing in the morning whenever you get out of the bed let it be the first thing you will take in the morning uh, should i tell you what it, it does oh my god it will activate your internal organ it will start the body reaction it will begin to cleanse your body okay and that water now will gather the 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 byproduct of a reaction of microorganism from your mouth is remember you've not brushed your teeth okay so when all this thing gets into your body your body your the medical doctors in your <laughs> in your in your body they will begin to carry out diagnosis from that uh, from those things from those things uh, the, the, the byproduct of a um, chemical reaction by the microorganism in your body while you were sleeping you remember uh, yes because you've not been talking okay so you understand what i mean so they will begin to carry out diagnosis what are the possible sickness or diseases that are that you could suffer in the future from that single analysis from that simple thing that I, I, we may not explain them thoroughly now your body can begin to to to, to prepare an antigen okay okay they will prepare antibody to fight against that disease the disease is not yet here but it is like weather prediction uh, how much do we depend on prediction you see pre 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 prediction industry they are very rich they are very worthy because a whole lot of activities, agriculture, businesses, and sports depends on weather, depend on weather prediction. Okay? So, in the same way, your body now, because of that water you have taken without brushing your teeth, your body will begin to, to predict, predict and accurately because from the fragment of food, from the odor, from that aura, from your mouth, back into your body your body will begin to analyze your whole system they will begin to prepare an antigen and the antibody they will begin to pray to, to prepare to to build up the, the, the body immunity against a possible occurrence of uh, future sicknesses and diseases okay this is one example i've just given you there are other things that are, i may not have the opportunity to talk about here this present moment okay but generally speaking, or uh, summarizing everything, uh, let water be the first thing you take in the morning. Okay, that's number one. And then your meal should be water rich. If you are not going to, you must have planned your breakfast. If you are going to have something like a bread, a wedge of cake, a, 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 a seed, or nuts, this thing they do not have a water on their own. Then you must drink enough water. Uh, 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 30 minutes before you take that your meal whether breakfast lunch dinner okay all right so you must take your water 30 minutes before you take your meal and then after taking your meal 30 minutes before you take water okay so that you will not go on and continue to poison yourself taking water or beverages while taking other meal okay no stop that all right take along on you 
uh, water can while taking a walk in your car uh, yes everywhere just learn how to sip water little by little do not wait until you become thirsty but if you must wait in order to avoid water toxicity okay as i mentioned that is um, uh, taking more than enough water so people that are afraid that they will lay a whole lot of burden on their kidney but no <laughs> no you are stressing the kidney when you fail to take enough water okay go and learn about kidney stone okay and all those things we're not talking about the diseases that can arise because of the, the the lack of water in the body there are many of them all right so if you still want to look into them you can make research or go to the hospital they will tell you better you can avoid all this it is all about prevention we are not trying to cure anything here i told you that i am not a medical doctor i don't know anything about chemical drugs okay but what i do here using common sense to understand the physical body basically from the word of god you give your body what your body needs you, it is all about maintenance okay it is all about maintenance we have been made we are not creating anything it is all about maintaining what we already have okay just like your physical body you are not going to change your physical body but you maintain the health of the body so when we talk about health it is all about maintenance we are not trying to cure anything so what i tell you here is how to avoid sicknesses and diseases by giving your body what your body needs all right so your food should be rich in water the coconut eat the coconut and then do not throw away the water okay so it is only in the natural sample of food can can, can someone combine the solid and the liquid just like coconut you can take the coconut the flesh and also the water that one is no problem okay papaya that is the papa okay the orange you can suck the juice and then chew the fiber all at the same time <laughs> can you see nature god is wise he combines everything even a given sample of orange contain water mineral uh, like vitamins like uh, 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 as an example vitamin c it contain uh, so many other things within and you can eat this thing at a time without them uh, negativity arising from them but uh, the one that is being prepared by a human being when you eat rice and beans together at a meal that is combine them you are creating havoc for your entire environment when you eat meat and the fat okay that is the fat of another meat okay you are creating problem when you eat a sample of rice and meat you are, that is when you chew them together oh, the worst one is you can see somebody somebody will eat beans and meat at the same time somebody will eat egg and bread as at the same time on the day we'll talk about food combination you will find out that all these things they are wrong right now this is where we are going to take our break okay uh, well, next time we will continue i pray that god will give you understanding into all things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hi, this is Michael Kechuku, the Love Angel Speaks. I thank you so much for tuning in into my station. I welcome you. Remember to check out all other things. We have our deliverance ministry, born again identity, matrimonial admonition, ministerial admonition, the human heart cast, love and romance, and so much more. Remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and reach me in the comment section, okay? This is the best place to be. May God bless you all the days of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.